Um, my name is Sharina Yunus. I think first and foremost, I'd like to introduce myself as a mother to five children. I've got two children on the autism spectrum, and that's what started my journey with uh, Learning Ladder Society, which is a society that I was a founder and a president of until now. Learning Ladder Society has been around for quite a while, actually. It was first established in 2007, so it's been 12 years. We first opened our doors, which is our Learning Ladder Centre for children with autism and related disorders in 2009. So it's 10 years now or more running uh, intervention services for children with autism and related disorders. I would divide the key achievement, I think, into three categories. One would be awareness, the other one would be the intervention program itself, and I think the third would be the human resource development. Yeah, so for the awareness, what we did was we carried out a lot of awareness campaigns. Uh, because with autism, there's a lot of myth and misconception. People have their own idea of what it is, but medically, what it really means and how it affects the individual um, is can be quite different. I think you will see a lot more community engagement from us. Uh, we actually had a soft launch of our new services that we're going to introduce to the community. We're launching our what we call SIS program, which is called the School Inclusion Support Program. The SIS program um, is a training program designed for teachers as well as parents to help integrate children into the school environment. I would say COVID-19 really sort of laid bare the vulnerabilities. I think a lot of organisations will probably appreciate that as well. Of course, number one, it is a total disruption for our services. Uh, we could not carry out the daily interventions that we do with the children. Uh, that means that we have to now change our mode, our delivery mode from the physical to the digital. They can, you know, if they want to know about us, they can contact us. They can come and visit our centre, but we have a no-camera policy to protect the privacy of the kids. Um, we are more than happy to explain about what we do. We're always looking for volunteers to help with various activities that we're going to have, uh, be it awareness or even um, organising activities for the children. That's very much appreciated.